Value Trades. Welcome to this week's Market Blast Fundamentals. I'm Brad Alexander, and on behalf of Value Trades, today we will take a look at Euro Dollar, Pound Aussie, Gold, and Pound Dollar. The Omicron variant of COVID is the biggest thing on the minds of every economy in the world as every central bank tries to deal with inflation. We see USD consolidating now against everything except the pound. GBP is weaker based on the fear of Omicron this winter and a bit of disarray in the UK government. In fact, our strong versus weak analysis on currencies shows GBP Aussie, where UK pessimism versus Australian optimism over commodities and COVID might be a good short trade, but wait for confirmation. We will look at GBP Aussie from the technical side tomorrow. Getting back to the US dollar, the markets are waiting for decisions this week from the US Federal Reserve along with about 19 other central banks around the world. The most important central banks are announcing interest rate decisions this week with the US on Wednesday, the Swiss National Bank and the European Central Bank on Thursday and Japan on Friday. Even if these central banks do not change their interest rates, we almost always see volatility and you can trade these. Simply look for counter trend price action moves, be patient, and trade with the trend off technical levels like support and resistance or trend lines. This will happen as well with the central bank press conferences as investors and analysts will be looking for clues about future movements. If you want to trade these movements with US dollar, you can also look at gold, which is also consolidating now but in an overall downtrend. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Value Trade Signals and the link will be in this video's description below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and register on the Value Trades website to get notifications on new content as it happens. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades and we will see you next time. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.